Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're looking at tonight is, and just a disclaimer going forward, that most of the things we're going to be doing from now on are going to be in the new UI or Unify, unless we have to switch back to the old for something. So the new UI is not going anywhere. Get used to it. Start using it. And what we're going to look at in this video real quick is to tell when users and admins are logging into Unify. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into your controller. You can see this is my UDR. And over here on the left-hand side, there's this thing that looks like a little book, like a little log book, and it is system logs. So if you click on system logs, the first thing we're going to look at here, and is that is the subject of this video, is admin access. Uh, there are also threats and user activity. We're going to cover those in separate videos. But admin access is what we're looking at now. It's very important to know when people who have access to your system are logging in and out. Uh, if something happens, you need to be able to see that somebody was logged in. Maybe something got screwed up or whatever. So you can see here that I logged into this two minutes ago. And then this user that I have created called local user logged in six minutes ago, seven minutes ago. And then you can see how often I have logged into this. And it'll tell you whether you're logged in from the web app, the phone app, and uh, differentiate that. I don't know if it'll uh, differentiate uh, like computers or anything like that. For any other further logging, we're gonna have to dig deeper in. But this gives you a really good, quick, cursory glance of users that you have given access to. That's the thing, right? When you come in here and you look at this, you want to make sure that you have given all of the users in this list access to be here and that they have some business being in here. Now, local user is a user that only has view only. So you can see that local user is a viewer and they have local access only. Of course, my uh, you know uh, Ubiquity account is the owner. So I can edit or deactivate this user. I can also go uh, back to the system here, go back to network, and then go back to the system logs to see. And you can see it logged that I you know, jumped out, jumped around, and, and came back. So it is doing a decent job. Uh, we can come over here and we can try to look at the details. So we can uh, break it down just by local user. Uh, we can look at um, uh, all admins. And then here you can see we can go ahead and filter by web or iOS or Android. So you're going to be able to break it down that far. I'd like a little bit more um, a little bit more information on this screen, such as like IP address and things like that. But I'm sure we're getting there and there are other ways to be able to capture that information. A little bit more complicated than this, but... At a minimum, when you're logging into your Unify controller, you should be looking at who's been logging in as an admin and making sure that you have given those people credential uh, access um, with their credentials. And the other thing that you should do is give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you've got any questions about this, let me know. I'll try to answer those. And uh, please subscribe on Twitter and TikTok. Those are links are down below as well as all of our affiliate links. And if you need IT consulting, you got something you need us to take a peek at, whether it's Ubiquity or Synology or Grandstream, name, name of technology. Uh, if we can't handle it, we'll let you know. But head on over to willyhow.com, click hire us or the contact us button, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.